let's talk about the issue of the shoulder angle collapsing and a few things I wish I heard emphasized more on this topic, such as delaying elbow extension. So first of all, uh, just to make sure we're on the same page, the shoulder angle we're talking about is from here to here. And we want this to be 90 degrees or greater. And when it's less than 90, that's what's called collapsed. And you can feel the upper arm coming into the chest. And this is bad. It usually results in rounding and makes you have to throw like this by bringing the disc around your body. Um, and that reduces power, accuracy, and increases injury risk to the shoulder. So there's a um, couple causes, of course. One of them that's really common is people simply just reach back too close to their body and they're already collapsing their shoulder angle. I'm not gonna be focusing on this one. Uh, the other one is when you're reaching away as you should to keep this angle um, open and not collapsed but then it collapses uh, before you get into the power pocket. So one cause of the shoulder angle collapsing could be from finishing the reach back too soon. Um, so generally you wanna start coiling after the X step lands, then you start coiling as you're coming out of it. And usually a lot of people, it's natural to extend the arm as you coil. But when you do both at the same time, you finish the full arm extension uh, too soon. So now your arm is fully extended and you're waiting for the brace to happen. But from coiling, the arm has momentum to come into the body. And with that momentum, it will collapse the shoulder angle. And this is the part I haven't really heard mentioned is this, this arm momentum coming into the body and how it's related to coiling uh, it while your arm is already too extended. So the best case scenario there is you're waiting for the brace, it collapses, you brace, and then you drive the elbow really quickly to um, widen the shoulder angle. But of course, we want to stop that from collapsing in the first place. So to stop that uh, particular reason for the shoulder angle collapsing, um, you simply can practice delaying elbow extension. So learning to coil without extending the elbow. And now, as I'm going into the brace, I extend the elbow. And you're done coiling, so you don't have any of this momentum of the arm swinging into the body uh, because you've coiled first. And so now you can simply extend the elbow and maintain the wide angle and come into the power pocket. So delaying that elbow extension is something you can see in a lot of pros form and some of them, it seems like they just simply delayed the elbow extension and coil first, but it's kind of hard to do. It requires uh, quite a bit of practice. That's what I'm working on. Um, so I, I have a flight towel. You could just use a towel and do the shadow swings to build the muscle memory. Um, but there are uh, other pros who seem to have, uh, you know, other timing cues that help them delay the elbow extension. Um, for example, like these pump moves or double moves, whatever they're called, where you bring the disc forward and now it's further away from finishing the reach back. So it takes longer to reach back so it doesn't happen too soon. Um, but a particularly interesting example to me is Kyle Klein, who as he's coiling, he actually brings the disc into his body, coils, and now his elbow is still bent, of course, and now he just comes out wide as he goes into the brace and comes into the power pocket. The reason that's interesting is because at first thought it seems counterintuitive. Why would you want to come in closer to the body when you want to stay wide? Uh, but in my case, staying wide being wide too soon leaves nowhere else to go if, except with this momentum of coming in. But if you bring the arm closer to the body or the disc closer to the body first as you coil, now you can come out and preserve that outward arm 
momentum without any risk of it swinging into the body. All right, so another cause of the shoulder angle collapsing, if even if you delayed the elbow extension um, and you're bracing and you have no collapse yet, if you uncoil too quickly, this is now collapsed right away because my arm lagged behind my upper body and it's really hard to recover from this because you, the rotation is happening so quickly and you don't really have time to fully drive the elbow. Um, this is a problem that I think a lot of people have because people have talked about good lag and creating lag in the arm to do the rubber band and you need to throw with rotating and don't throw with the arm. I think a lot of that is, is just wrong and you don't really need to try to rotate. Uh, like, it'll just happen if everything else is, is done correctly. So the first thing when you land in the brace that you should do is drive the elbow. And if I'm aiming here, this is 12 o'clock, this would be perpendicular to my aim point, nine o'clock. In the power pocket, the chest should be facing nine o'clock, perpendicular to the target. If you have already rotated past nine o'clock, you've over-rotated, and now when the arm opens, it looks like you're going to hit 12 o'clock at your target still, but the disc is going to rotate out and go to the right um, past 12. Whereas when your chest is facing the target in the power pocket, you're releasing the disc at around 10 o'clock and then it, it spins out of your hand and goes towards your target. So the reason you don't have to try to rotate anything other than the coiling but I'm talking about uncoiling is because when, first of all, for the hips, when you're, when you're coiled at the hips, if you come into the brace, all this force comes up your brace leg. That's going to push your hip, your front hip back automatically if you're bracing correctly. Uh, and then for the torso, when you're coiled, when you drive the elbow force, Force, forcefully, it's going to naturally, like the elbow, you kind of run out of room here. So naturally your torso is going to want to rotate at that time and that's the right time for it to happen. So this is now how I'm thinking about um, my power pocket, uh, which is as soon as I brace, I'm thinking in my head, don't rotate, just drive the elbow, just drive the elbow and then everything else will happen and at the right time.